To all the gun enthusiasts out there, welcome back to the channel. Don't know if you recall in my last video showing this box, which contained the Aero Precision M4E1 Pro Ambi Lore receiver. That receiver is no longer in this box. Last night it was assembled into this AR pistol you see here. There's the Ambi Lore receiver in all her glory. Uh, this receiver has not been fired as of yet. It has been function tested, and so far it seems good. So we're going to try it out today against uh, these competitors. On the table here, you see three AR platforms. All are, I would consider, ambi in some way or another. The first one here which is also, as you can see, an Aero M4 E1 lower receiver. Uh, this pistol has the, and my lighting's bad. This pistol has the PDQ, which is the pretty darn quick uh, bolt release, which is bolt release and bolt catch. It also has an ambi or left side, I should say, mag release. So, technically, yes, this is an ambi rifle. The next one, utilizing the bad lever. I know some people like it, some people don't because it goes into the trigger guard. Me personally, I've never had an issue with it. And this one also has an amb a Magazine release on the left side, which yes, you can manipulate by just going over and pressing in You know, so Yeah, it is an ambi rifle so-called that was put together And last but not least This rifle here And the other two are pistols. This one's an, actually a rifle Um this lower receiver is an AR15.com lower receiver. Yeah, it's a little old. It is modeled after the unobtainium uh, Magpul lower. And it does have, as you can see, a lever here for bolt release. But it does not allow you to lock the bolt open. And it has a ambi mag release on the left side. Now there, you know, what technology things have changed. Uh, there are lowers that have this lever here. Uh, for instance, like the Aero Precision. Now I'm sorry, not Aero Precision. The um, Radian, which allows you to lock the bolt with the uh, mag release. And of course, here's the release here. And if I'm if I'm correct, the only rifle that this lever only can lock and release is the Vector One. I could be wrong, but I think that's the only rifle that has this lever that can do both lock and release. Now, going back to the Ambi lower receivers, do they have an advantage? Uh, you know what? That depends on who you talk to. Uh, me personally, I think the advantage with an Ambi receiver, lower receiver comes in with doing administrative tasks. Uh, if you have a some type of malfunction, it easily allows you to lock the bolt back and clear your malfunction and then get your rifle back up and running. Um, it also, you know, allows you to, or cert most folks to uh, reload quicker. But, you know, there I've seen folks that can reload just as fast with a non ambi lower receiver. So I think that's a mute point. But when it comes to administrative tasks, the ambi receiver is, uh, is the best. That's just my personal opinion. 
going back to those administrative tasks that I was speaking about earlier, I have my pistol. You can see that the bolt is locked open. I'm using dummy rounds. I'm gonna sit, insert the magazine, take one of the dummy rounds, place it into the chamber, hit the bolt release. I've just created a double feed. I go to shoot. I tilt to the side, I see that I have a double feed. I come back, lock the charging handle back, rip out the magazine, rack, rack, rack. Take a new magazine, insert it, rack, and I'm ready to go. With an AMRI lower receiver, it allows you to do that administrative task with left, less movements as opposed to a standard lower receiver. Also, when it comes to reloading, take another magazine, got it in my pocket. I'm shooting, I see that I'm empty, the bolt's locked back. Take another magazine, insert, come back up, and then hit the bolt release, and I'm back on. So, those are the two advantages to having an ambi lower receiver over a standard, you know, a regular lower receiver. And that's my tutorial for the day. 99% of you out there already know that. Before I go any further in this video, I'm going to verify that this pistol actually works. Got 10 rounds in this magazine. Let's see what happens. It worked and locked back on the last round. The next portion of this video, uh, the idea I received from a user off of MarylandShooters.com. I hope he doesn't mind me putting his name out there. Well, it's not his real name, but he goes by Clandestine. And he basically stated that a lot of ambi lore receivers do not like to lock the bolt back on the last round with certain magazines. Now, I don't have every brand of magazine ever made out here, but I do have a nice little selection, starting with the ETS, Tango Down, Surefeed, which is basically a standard GI, your Lancer, Daniel Defense, Troy, and the old, most popular, PMAG. I have two rounds loaded into all of these magazines minus the PMAG because I haven't opened it yet and I'm going to fire those rounds to see if this lower receiver will lock back with each one of these magazines. Let's get started.
it, it locked back with every magazine that I tried here. So the Aero Precision M4 E1 Pro lower is a win. To close out this video, what do I think of the Aero Precision M4 E1 Pro lower receiver? I think it's awesome. But I also have to say that any lower receiver, if you practice with it, you do the same thing, just as fast, just as good. And a lot of folks out there, even faster and better than I ever could. But on this lower receiver, I really do like it, I must say. Um, I mean, I like the M4, the Aero Precision lowers anyway, and just having it being an ambi lower receiver is like icing on a cake. So there's that. On another note, um, I, I get a lot of flat for wearing this headpiece here. You know, it's been called a diaper, along with a few other things. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I wear this thing here because it keeps me employed. Some of you out there may know what I mean. A lot probably don't. But there's a thing called red flag laws. And I work in a sensitive environment. And a lot of folks that I work around, you know, yeah, they're grown children, but they can get their way. Why? Because they're government and they've been there a long time. And they got a lot of pull. Last thing I need is for one of them to say, for whatever reason, see my face shooting one of these or even an air gun. Me and you know the difference between this and an air gun. A lot of them folks that I work with, they don't. It's just a gun. And with my face, and they're working beside me, they won't like that. Which means that they have more pull than I do. So guess who's gone? Me. Guess who's not getting the paycheck? Me. Guess who has to come home and tell his significant other that he's unemployed because of a damn video? She's not gonna like that. That's me. So for those of you out there who understand what I mean, I thank you. For those of you out there who watch these videos and can't understand, hey, it is what it is, I get it. But in the end of the day, I gotta protect my behind because nobody else is. On to the next thing. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I just hit over 4,000 subscribers. I know, amazing. Me, who sucks, puts out horrible videos, and where is this garbage? Yes, hit 4,000 subscribers. To those who have subscribed to this channel, thank you. I can't say it enough, and I wish I could show you my appreciation, but I really do thank you. On that note, I want to say thank you by giving away some things. First off, this Magpul hat and these two Magpul magazines. One is new, one is slightly used. I hope you don't mind. So I'm giving these away to those of you who are a subscriber and who lives in a state where I can actually mail these to you without having an ATF show up in my door. They're yours. And all you have to do, like I say, is be a subscriber and in the comments say first and that you would like these items. Then the next thing you have to do is log on to your, to the internet. Of course, you already logged in and go to Gmail, log into your Gmail account and send me an email at turbo15100 at gmail.com giving me your name and address and I will verify that you are a subscriber. Look to see that you were first and I will send you these items for free. That's it. 
And on that note, thank you for watching and have a nice day.